Education Minister Katrina Ruan, you're hosting a reception today for all the schools in the north of Ireland who have entered the BT Young Scientist event this year. Can you tell us why is it important that young people show interest in STEM subjects? Well, this has been a great day. Here we have the STEM truck. There's young people in there. They're the spark in their eyes is unbelievable. They're actually in a science class there, but they don't realise it. And they're fascinated by the various technology in there, and it's like this mobile amazing classroom. Um, we had a reception for all the schools that entered. We have an uh, increasing amount of schools every single year. Um, more than 50% are going to Dublin for the finals, where they will just meet like-minded young people from all over Ireland, and they'll have a great time. And more importantly, or as importantly, they'll be learning. They'll be looking at other ideas. They'll be looking at some of the most innovative ideas. So this is fantastic. It shows them the relevance of science technology, engineering and maths. It's one thing sitting in a classroom learning off formulae, but it's another actually understanding how is it relevant to the building of a bridge, to the developing of a, a product, or if you're a tiler, uh, creating the right angles and, and putting your tiles down right. So th this is a great event. Th what we need to do is show the relevance of subjects to young people and then they learn. If we distance it, or if they don't understand why they're learning difficult concepts, well then they'll find it more difficult to learn. And today is about breaking through some of that. And is the partnership with BT important in the Young Scientist event? Well, the partnership with BT, it's a very dynamic partnership. It's cha We've been doing it now with them for three years. It changes every single year because what we're actually doing is constantly evaluating. The first year we realised we had nobody in from Fermanagh. So we made sure there were Fermanagh schools in the following year. We realised we had no projects in through the medium of Irish. We now have Irish medium project uh, product, uh, projects in English and Irish. We didn't have enough schools from secondary sector. We now have schools from secondary sector. We also identified that some very dynamic work is going on in further education colleges. So Peter had some very good meetings and today we had representatives from further education colleges. That's what makes this project interesting. This isn't just another project that BT are funding. They're organising it. Their members volunteer for it. So I, the link is dynamic because this project is real for them. So it's fantastic working with them. I'm really enjoying it and I don't say that lightly. Um, it's really good partnership. And you look forward to going down to the finals event then in January? I wouldn't miss it. I was at it for the last three years. Uh, really looking forward to it. And last year our schools did so well. But the good thing about this is um, if they didn't get through this year, if schools didn't get through, they can still go and visit. And the, one of the last groups we met up there, they went last year, they didn't get through, and this year they're back and they've got through. So that's the beauty of this. Keep going. Great event. And it's really um, very innovative. Hey, Peter Morris of BT, we're here for a reception for all the young people from the north of Ireland who've entered the BT Young Scientist competition. Can you tell me why do you feel it's important that BT supports the Young Scientist competition? Well, th this type of an uh, exhibition is very important to a company like ours. If, you're, if you really think about uh, where the economy is at the moment and how difficult things are, it's all about developing key skills uh, that the economy will depend on in the future. So the whole area of like science, engineering, maths and technology, these are the key skills that people need to learn. And this provides us as a company who depend on those key skills uh, just to survive. This gives us an opportunity to uh, develop a very important vehicle that, to be honest, we've been sponsoring and organising for the last uh, 11 years. It's a big investment for us. And do you see these young people as the scientists and engineers of tomorrow? Absolutely. I mean, effectively what we try and do here is take the learning from the classroom and take it out into the exhibition, which is very much a, a fun environment and a learning environment. But uh, if you really do look at where the economy is at the moment, where the economy needs to get to, these key, these key skills will be critical. And I have no doubt, and we've shown it uh, in previous years' competitions, that some of the young people that come through the exhibition take their ideas, take them into real business, so much so that this year at our gala event, we'll have uh, a former winner, I think in 2005, who not only took his idea, he, he was able to patent it and make it commercial, and he sold the business for two and a half million euro. And do you see events like this as a, a way of bridging the gap between the education world and the business world? 
it's it's been proven. We've we've definitely proved that. Working closely with the Department of Education um, as as one of our uh, partners in this here, we've been able to show probably to a lot of kids who are working in a primarily a classroom environment, how you can take that idea and take it out of that environment, and in some cases, take it into a commercial environment. We, we launched last year as, a, I suppose, an extension of the BT Young Scientists and Technology Exhibition. It's the business of science and technology. And this year is our second year, where we'll take 30 young people, or 30 projects, um, that, are, that can be uh, taken into a commercial world and we will help them and partner them with people from industry to help them do that um, and that's a significant extension to what we already do. Professor James McLaughlin, you are in the Faculty of Computing and Engineering in the University of Ulster. Uh, we're here at a reception for schools from the North of Ireland who have entered the BT Young Scientist event. Uh, the University of Ulster is sponsoring the prize for the best project from the school in the North of Ireland. Can you tell us how you come you have got involved in that? Okay, uh, I mean I suppose over this last 10-15 years the University of Ulster has got involved um, at the Young Scientist event in Dublin in many ways from marketing it to judging and get involved with some of the innovation stages with schools and how they develop the projects through. So yeah, I mean certainly there, there's an interest at, at a, a wide range of levels and we have a wide range of uh, academics throughout the faculty that would participate. So I think it was an opportunity this year. Uh, we do work closely with BT in a wide range of areas through from informatics right down to connected health. So getting to know BT gives us this opportunity to come in and, and help work with them, uh, promote the event, uh, actually technically help out at the event and of course financially support the, the prize that you mentioned. There are 78 entries from the north of Ireland more than ever before. Are you seeing, are you noticing the standard going up each year? Well I think so. Uh, I mean, there's probably many many reasons for that. Uh, there's a wide range now of competitions like this that I think act as a feeder uh, into the programme. I mean I also have to say our friends over here at CAA through STEM initiatives uh, very much encourage innovation. Uh, links with industry and therefore I think give uh, very much the kids uh, um, uh, an idea of what's, what's expected in the real world. So I think out of that starts to come innovation and then they feed that back into their courses, be it physics, biology, chemistry or technology and they get the core uh, disciplines I think and core elements coming out of that to end up building devices, uh, program, whatever it might be uh, and I think they, what they're effectively doing is looking where there's issues and problems and matching it with, with technology. Um, so I think a lot of that and, and, uh, and I suppose a uh, range of TV programs are also encouraging the whole innovation principle at the minute as well. Um, and the STEM initiatives again, uh, that connection into engineering and computing is, is absolutely key and that's something we can only support.